Look, the unions had a great win uh, in the courts about permanent casuals. Hopefully the decision of the full court of the federal court means that the rort that has been permanent casuals for years has come to an end. Basically the court has said that if you're a casual, alleged casual, but you're given a roster a year in advance, then you're not a casual at all. You're entitled to annual leave and personal leave. So we've written to the labour hire companies and said, you need to start doing uh, this now. You need to start crediting people leave, annual leave and personal leave. We've written to the mining companies to say that you've been involved in a potential breach of the Act and you need to tell us how you're going to change that business model. So there'll be a lot happening and we need to get information to our vice presidents through the districts uh, and our organisers about the, inf about the information we need to process your claim. And we'll process them um, as soon as we can and the difference between the union processing uh, those claims and uh, class action law firms is simply this, the union doesn't charge you anything. Uh, the, the union's um, expenses on legal fees don't come out of the settlement. Law firms, they do, and it can cost you a, about a third of your payout. So don't listen to those um, arguments. For years, people have said, oh, I'm a labour hire person, um, what can the union do for me? Well, have a look at what the union's done. We've changed the law. You don't often get to do that. We've changed the law. The permanent casual rort, we hope, is over and there'll be months to come uh, for a lot of wage claims and we'll be in there doing it for free for members.